Okay, um, back to part two. I'm going to load up a few viruses. Um, and then uh, after I get through the virus stuff, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can recover files from the sandbox. And then that's pretty much all I'm going to do unless somebody wants to see something else. These are fresh, fresh URLs here. I'm going to load Internet Explorer 6, full of holes, doesn't really matter, got sandboxy. And I'm going to load up a site. And I can see my sandbox is populated. trying to load my uh, <laughs> it's trying to grab all my contacts from my non-existent contact book so I can you know at this point I can freak out and say oh my gosh what has happened and I can just go boom terminate programs all taken care of nothing gets out nothing comes in Go ahead and try a really long one here. Hang on. If I try to install that program. I can see Xloader 1 has installed. It also installed some fake SVC host and dump prep. SVC host. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff downloading. And um, we can see a bunch of stuff in there. If we look at these, we look at program access, or sorry, resource access. These things have access to nothing. It's awesome. They can just sit there and wait for me to decide what to do with them. And all I have to do is terminate programs. Done. All right, I got like three more here. I think you're getting the picture that Sandboxy is pretty much impenetrable unless you ha unless you find uh, some actual holes in Sandboxy. Uh, not to say there are any. It's about the only way. Or you get stupid and recover a virus. I mean, I'm sure there's a few dopes out there that have done that, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? So, anyway, lots of, uh, lots of malware loading in the sandbox there. Again, doesn't have access to my system at all. I'm sure it's trying to figure out what's going on. It's inside my little sandbox. My browser crashed in my sandbox. So now I can terminate all my sandbox programs. Programs, viruses, malware, whatever you want to call them. Okay, all that stuff's gone. Here is a copy of some nasty stuff. You read all about it. It's called the Stormbot. Mm-hmm, there it is right there. Trying its best to infect. Okay, and there's nothing in the sandbox. Okay, nothing in processes there. And I got one more. Uh, 
That's nothing. Um, let's see if I have anything else here. Some of these are older. Yeah, those are gone. <clears throat> so, um, hang on a second. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I got one more URL here. This is a brand new one. It's a big one. If we look in our sandbox, we can see the particular piece of malware right there. We can just terminate it if we want. And um, go somewhere else on our browser. So, anyway, that, that concludes the, the malware part of this um, review. The, the anti-malware parts of Sandboxy. In my uh, personal opinion, I think sandboxing and HIPS is just the way to go. Um, traditional antivirus is great for detecting and removing viruses on a system. If you want to prevent your system from being infected, just run something like Sandboxy. Get the whole family to use it. Um, or um, that's pretty much it. Just get something like Sandboxy or if you want to go for the for the big giant uh, Sandbox, go out there and grab a copy of Defense Wall. It's a one-time fee of like 29 bucks. And it runs your entire system in a sandbox. Um, so, I don't know. I just can't stress enough. Just just start using sandboxed, um, sandbox type applications and technologies. And you won't have a problem with malware ever. You can just leave it all behind. It, it just won't be a concern anymore at all. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and go on to uh, video three, and that's how to recover stuff out of the sandbox. It's not too big of a deal, but I thought uh, I thought people should know how to do that. And just I'll give you a little demo of it, so I'll be right back.